Hello there, and happy Burns Night. Now, if you didn't know, Robert Burns was one of Scotland's most prolific poets. And on the 25th of January, we celebrate the life and works of Robert Burns. Basically, it's an excuse for a large Scottish party. We, we celebrate his poetry, we recite it, we drink whiskey, we eat haggis. So, one year ago, it was the the soft launch of the Sassanac, uh, my whiskey that I know a lot of you have been uh, so generous, so supportive and bought and enjoyed. Um, one year later, uh, it's doing really well. We're really, really pleased with it. Obviously, um, we've been delayed in getting it to everyone around the world, but um, we have some very, very exciting news coming in the next couple of months. So stay tuned, go to sassanacwhiskey.com. We still have whiskey available for Europe, for the UK, you can still buy it, but, to the celebration, yes. Well, I thought I would share with you the Rob Burns cocktail. Here we are. Have we set up here? The haggis is, uh, it's boiling away. Um, I caught it earlier. I have, I also have a vegetarian haggis as well. It's one of those haggis that, uh, that only eats vegetables, but, um, I've got them both boiling away in the kitchen. So in the meantime, I'm going to try and make the Rob Burns cocktail. Bear with me. Okay, first of all, what we need for a Rob Burns, we need, of course, a good blended whiskey. I recommend the Sassanac. Uh, we need some sweet vermouth. Um, this is the one I've got, but uh, there are others available, of course. So I better open it. And finally, Benedictine. Now, if you don't have Benedictine, you can use chartreuse. It's a similar, similar thing. It is going to be slightly different. This is all I could find today, last minute. But it is delicious, especially when you're in the, uh, the French Alps. So, really simple. Get a nice chilling. You can put it in the freezer. I'll put some ice in, in my glass to chill it. You need uh, a mixer. You're going to throw some ice in there. Use my fingers. That should probably do it. Now, we're going to go for an ounce, I'm, I'm gonna do rough measures here. I'm gonna say that's half there, so we're gonna go for one ounce of your whiskey. I'm gonna say it's two of these. There we go, one ounce of that. We really should buy myself a measure. One ounce of your sweet vermouth. Ooh, it is sweet. There we go, into the mixer. And then very simply, half an ounce of your Benedictine, or if you don't have it, something similar. I've gone here with yellow chartreuse. What a color that has got. Oh, it's gonna be quite full, this one. Then, very, very simple. Give it a good stir. I need more ice in there. Should have got a bigger mixer as well. I'm gonna have to work on my, my bar tools. So give that a good stir for maybe 30, 40 stirs. I hope you're counting. And I would like to say everyone that has bought this house tonight, thank you so much. We've really enjoyed your pictures, all of your, your wonderful posts. I'd love to see what you're doing with the bottle. Um, obviously we're very proud of, of the, uh, the design of the bottle, so, um, yeah, we'd love to see what you guys are doing with it. I've seen some, some cre creative people out there, but um, really, really pleased about the last night, how it's done. And uh, we hope you're enjoying it too. Okay, so it's about right, very simple. Pour it into your glass. Look at that. Oh, and finally, if you have it, I pre-cut a lemon peel. Not everyone likes a bit of this, but it does add real flavor. Give it a little squeeze, a little twist. You can rub it around the edge, pop it in there. And there we have the Rob Burns for Burns Night. Uh, have a great Burns Night to all. Slangeva, look after yourselves. Um, it's gonna be a good year, I know it, especially if you drink a couple of these. Oh, that's delicious. Cheers.